If you have a peanut allergy, this episode may trigger you. Hello everyone and welcome to For These Are My Thoughts. It's almost Halloween, which means you need to know what's the best candy to hand out to trick-or-treaters. And luckily, we at For These Are My Thoughts already know who the king of candy is. It's Reese's. Reese's is the best type of candy. There is nothing better than chocolate and peanut butter put together. It's a beautiful marriage. But here's the issue. Reese's actually has gone overboard with all of their products. There are over 100 products that includes candy, spreads, cookies, and cereal that Reese's offers, which is both just scratching the surface and a little bit too much. Maybe rein it in a little bit, Reese's. So today we're gonna find out what is the best Reese's product that you should hand out on Halloween. Now, I'm going to rank all these on a scale of worst to best right up here next to the El Segundo Brewing Company Broken Skull IPA. Uh, and disclaimer, we don't have all 100 products. My stomach is probably already going to hate this. And if I ate 100 types of candies, spreads, cereals, or cookies, I would probably die. But we have around 12 different flavors or types of Reese's that we will eat for you. And we're gonna start with the tried and true Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. The peanut butter cup was created in the basement of H.B. Reese in the early 1920s, and it's one of the best-selling candy bars in the world now. So, open this up. Hopefully that's good ASMR for those of you that like ASMR. I hope that everyone knows, in all of our taste tests, when we have ASMR, which is essentially when you hear something like that that's really loud, it's only a joke. <laughs> I actually don't really like ASMR, but here's, you all know, right, what a Reese's peanut butter cup looks like. Mm. That is some good basement candy. And of course, it's gotta go in the middle. To start, we're just gonna put the cup itself there. Sorry if you wanted to see the whole package, because we have a lot of candy to taste. And the next Reese's product that we're going to try is the pretentious girl at the school dance, Reese's peanut butter cup thins. Now, I've never, I mean, I just assume it's smaller, right? It says it's sized for delight. Deliciously proportioned, 100% portable, individually wrapped. Uh, and they come in a bag. Oh, there's a rip thing right here. There we go. So it comes in a bag and then they are individually wrapped. Get that bag out of here. Oh, it doesn't have a wrapper on it, but look at it. Look at that. Look at the thinness compared to the normal peanut butter cup. All right, so let's let's take a little bite. Something's a little off with this in my opinion. What I love about the original peanut butter cup is that it has more peanut butter than chocolate, which I think is a good balance. I don't really like chocolate, I don't really like candy that much. And this has a lot more chocolate than peanut butter, which maybe that's the point, but it doesn't suit my style, so it's gonna go below the classic peanut butter cup. So moving on from the pretentious girl at a school dance, you know exactly the type of person I'm talking about. We're gonna move on to the loud guy at a party that thinks the only way to tell a good story is to swear every third and fifth word, the big cup. <laughs> now, this is gonna be a lot of peanut butter, I think. Uh, but I've actually never had a big cup. I've seen them in the store and it's always seemed like way too much peanut butter cup for me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That is a beefy boy. Look at how big that is. Holy cow. Uh, I can only imagine the amount of peanut butter in this. But, oh my, sweet Pete. Oh. Just look at how much peanut butter is in that cup. That is truly delightful. Um, it's better than the regular cup because there's more peanut butter in it. It is just way better. Now, the thing about the, the regular cup is you can eat more of them, but you don't need to eat more of them with this. But this, the big cup, not much of a surprise when you actually think about it, is going above the regular peanut butter cup. So now that we've met the loud guy at the party, now we're gonna meet the louder guy at the party that tries to woo women with his philosophical mumbo jumbo, the Reese's Big Pretzel Filled Cup. Many people love the combination of chocolate and peanut butter and pretzels. Uh, I'm not one of those people. Don't look at me like that. But here we, here we go. This is the size. You can kind of see maybe some dimples on the top where you can see some pretzels. I'm nervous that the pretzel is only gonna be on the inside there. It's not gonna be throughout. 
the peanut butter cup, but I don't want to have to take a huge bite out of this. Oh. So that is actually pretty good. You saw the inside of the peanut butter cup. You can hopefully see the little pretzel chunks. They are throughout, and it actually does add a little bit of something. Add some crunch to it, which is nice. Adds that saltiness to it that kind of goes well with chocolate and sweets occasionally. And again, I, I would eat this. This is actually surprising. I don't like pretzels, again, but this is good. But I don't think it's better than the, the original Big Cup or even the original Peanut Butter Cup, but it is good. This is a good little combination of snacks that maybe you do on your own. And if you're willing to pay a couple extra cents to get a Peanut Butter Cup like that, you can do that. You could probably make this on your own though with like Puppy Chow or something like that. But hey, not bad, Reese's. Not bad at all. But now it's time to meet the loudest guy at the party. The frat boy who has to one-up every single guy in the room, no matter what it may be. The Reese's Potato Chip Big Cup. Now, potato chips and like Reese's or candy does go pretty well together. They, they do pair together fairly well. It is an invention probably of a stoner, um, but let's see what it tastes like. <laughs> Again, you've seen the, the size of these. It does, again, have some divots on the top or some, some bumps on the top. Divots, not the right word, but. Mm. So there's actually crispy chips, and I thought, I didn't say this beforehand, but I thought that there were gonna be soggy chips inside or maybe stale, but they're actually pretty crispy. I do think that this is better than the pretzel cup. Um, so this is good, but again, I don't think it beats these ones. It does add a nice crisp, but that maybe is a little bit of a niche type of Reese's cup, whereas these are just tried and true, the favorites of everyone. We're gonna move on from the big cup variety to the miniature cup variety. Now, I could not find, for the life of me, the regular miniature cups. You've had them before, they're pretty good, I would say. So we're gonna try miniature cups, zero sugar. And I've heard that zero sugar in sweet foods can give you the Hershey squirts, which is pretty uh, you know, ironic, considering that Hershey's is a subsidy of the Hershey company. Um, but it's got a little tear thing here, and I think they're all individually wrapped. Oh yeah, and they're wrapped in orange foil instead of the classic gold foil. Um, but it looks just like your classic, classic uh, Reese's peanut butter miniature cup, but it's got zero sugar apparently. I'm kind of surprised this doesn't taste any different than, you know, a normal Reese's cup. It says on the front, not a low calorie food, no kidding. Uh, <laughs> it's got 220 calories per serving and apparently a serving is this whole container. Not that you should eat the whole container, uh, John Carolus, but this is uh, this is okay. I think it's not any better than the uh, Thins though. I, it does have, a, now that I can taste, it's got a weird aftertaste. It's got a little bit of a weird aftertaste that I'm not that fond of. So it's gonna go at the end, but again, we have so many more. <laughs> My stomach. It's time to get spoopy, everybody, with the Reese's Franken Cup. Just in time for Halloween, uh, the Reese's Franken Cup is the regular peanut butter cup, but it has green colored creme, or cream, but it's kind of the French way that you spell cream uh, on it. We'll take this out. And it looks pretty normal until you open it. And then it like has that green coloring again. And I would say that this green coloring probably looks a lot more like mint than anything else. I don't like the aftertaste of that. Now, would I know that if I was just like to be given it and eat it? Would I complain? No, but I'm gonna complain because this is my show and I'm eating it individually. Uh, but it is better than zero sugar, but it's not better than a thin. Surprisingly, the cream makes it a little bit worse, in my opinion. Maybe you love the Franken Cup, so make sure that you comment below what is your favorite type of Reese's treat. Continuing with the spoopy theme, we have Reese's pumpkins. Now, the pumpkins are just filled with peanut butter. The pumpkins and the Easter eggs and the Christmas trees and what we're gonna eat next, spoiler alert, the football, uh, they are all essentially just little blobs of peanut butter covered with it. just a tiny little bit of chocolate, which I think makes them awesome. Ooh. Yeah, so it is just a pumpkin and it's it's kind of soft because there's so much peanut butter inside of there. Mm. 
That's really good. Uh, it says that it's actually peanut butter, but is Reese's peanut butter actually peanut butter? I'm not sure, but this is better than the big cup just because it has the perfect amount of peanut butter to chocolate to my liking. So I'm gonna keep the packaging with this one because otherwise it's gonna get all over my desk. But that's going in the number one spot. Let's see if something can beat it. I bought some Reese's footballs and you know, now that I think about it, they're basically the same thing as pumpkins. So they're going there. Now we're gonna try something that I had no idea. Like I've seen a lot of these in the store with Reese's, but this is something I've never seen before. And this is the Reese's snack cake. So you open it up and it's literally, it looks like, you know, it's got the classic Reese's uh, chocolate, Hershey chocolate on the top, uh, but I'm gonna break this in half so I can show you. It looks like it's got a little bit of brownie inside, or maybe some chocolate cake since it's a snack cake uh, and some peanut butter on it. There's not nearly enough peanut butter on there to satisfy me. You can get the chocolate cake brownie taste, which is not bad, but it's Reese's. When I eat a Reese's, I want peanut butter. So actually this is going to the end. And now we move on to my favorite Reese's product. The product of Reese's that I get every time I go to a movie and get snacks. Cause I don't always get snacks cause I don't always like candy. I'm kind of a weird person. Reese's Pieces. I love freaking Reese's Pieces. I think that they are the best. And is there gonna be some bias involved in this? Most certainly. But look at that. Oh, look at all that goodness. Just, you probably can't see that. Look at all that goodness. <laughs> they sounded kind of spoopy. Mmm! God dang, that's good. Uh, I just love these because it's peanut butter, just a little bit of chocolate, it tastes like an M&M. &M. Oh, so good. So everything's moving down. Even the, the big pumpkin and footballs are moving down. Probably not the... There we go. Now you can see that. Reese's Pieces, they're my favorite. They're gonna stay there, but we do have some other things to taste and I'm gonna try and keep an open mind. Now another bagged snack. Another thing that you probably will like, but I don't think I'm going to. Reese's dipped pretzels. It's a salty pretzel dipped in peanut butter and drizzled with chocolate. I don't like pretzels. Maybe you love pretzels. Maybe you have these and it's your favorite Reese's snack. Make sure you comment below, but it's literally just a peanut butter covered with some chocolate on it pretzel. Man. That's the garbage. I just made it in the garbage. <laughs> that was awesome. Moving on to something that's kind of a candy bar and kind of more of a cookie is the Reese's Sticks. Reese's Sticks. It's essentially a wafer cookie of Reese's, kind of maybe getting in the Kit Kat uh, realm of things. It looks like a little cigar, a little Cuban cigar. Mmm. That is really quite good. Um, the, the crunch of the wafer, I think, makes it for this. And there's just enough peanut butter. There's just enough chocolate to really make you, like you are eating Reese's, but you're also getting a little bit of crispy cookie goodness, wafery goodness. So they're not better <laughs> than Reese's Pieces or pumpkins or footballs or the big cup or the traditional cup. But I do think that they're better than pretzels. I don't think that they're better than the chippy big cup. So I'm gonna put them kind of right there. That might end up being the middle. There's two more products we're gonna taste and then we'll see where we stand. Our next product that we're gonna have from Reese's is basically the scraps that they find on the floor, put back into a candy bar and sell it, and that is Reese's Outrageous. This is essentially uh, milk chocolate, peanut butter, caramel, and the Reese's Pieces candy. You may have seen this with pretzels or with nuts. Uh, I did not see those in the store. So we got the Outrageous variety, and it looks like a turd. I've seen this before, and it looks like a turd. <laughs> This is not an appealing thing to eat, uh, but I have a feeling that this is gonna be really, like, again, really tasty. You can't go wrong with chocolate and peanut butter. Uh, and now it's got Reese's Pieces, which again are my favorite. They're currently in the one spot. And you add caramel. Oh man, that is good. Mm. Reese's started in a basement. Remember that back at the beginning of this episode in the 1920s? We've gone from basement food to floor food 
And this is going in the two spot, my friends. Outrageous. Say it ain't so, but it is so, and it's true. It is outrageously good. That was, oh, I hate puns. I'm gonna go cleanse my brain now. So we started with the classic, and we are going to end with the classic in its own right, and that is the Reese's Take 5. This is something that I remember having as a child. Uh, it has pretzels, caramel, peanut butter, peanuts, and chocolate. It looks kind of blobby, not super great uh, appealing-wise, but... Oh, it's got a huge pretzel base. Not a fan. This is going to be controversial, and I'm ready for that. <laughs> but the Reese's Take 5 is going second to last. We're going to move up the snack cake. The pretzel base on that is just not good, in my opinion. I don't like pretzels. Maybe you do. Let me know in the comments where I'm wrong. But these are the official Reese's rankings for today. Today we have the Reese's peanut butter dipped pretzels, the Take 5, the Snack Cakes, the Zero Sugar, the Franken Cup, the Thin Cup, the Pretzel Big Cup, the Reese's Sticks, which is good. This side is really, really good stuff right here. The Reese's Sticks, the Chip Filled Big Cup, the Original, the Big Cup, the Pumpkins and or Footballs and or Christmas Trees and or Eggs, the Outrageous Candy Bar, which essentially is just floor food, but the big winner. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Reese's Pieces. I love Reese's Pieces, and maybe you hate them. I, I have met people that have had the outrageous take that these are bad. This is so freaking good. It comes in a little pouch. It, it doesn't melt in your hand. It's awesome. Get yourself some Reese's Pieces, but make sure that you comment below your favorite Reese's product, and maybe we didn't even taste test it today. Make sure that you like and subscribe to this video if you laughed at anything we said, or the fact that my stomach now hates me, or if you enjoyed this video, give us a like, subscribe. Until next time, these are my thoughts and I'll see you soon.